across the Illawarra, South Coast and Southern Highlands, this is Win News. Tonight, thousands of people, trucks and bikes turn out for this year's I-98 Illawarra Convoy. A family left homeless by a house fire in the Shoalhaven and police alerted after youths break into a holiday rental home to stage a party. Good evening, I'm Jeff Phillips. Also coming up tonight, the popular surf lifesaving club that's riddled with safety concerns. More than 1,700 bikes and trucks have rolled down Mount Ousley for the I-98 FM Illawarra convoy, hailed as one of the best, biggest and loudest yet. For 15 years now, the convoy has brought out the best in the community, pulling everyone together for one special day, raising funds for Illawarra families battling life-threatening illnesses. The roar of engines echoed down the escarpment. The I-98 FM Illawarra convoy was off. Snaking their way down from Westcliff Colliery, the motorbikes, almost a thousand of them, led the pack. Next came the trucks. More than 700 big rigs bearing the names of children and loved ones fighting their own health battles or taken too soon, lining the stretch to greet them from Appen Road to Albion Park were devoted convoy fans. So we should be an example to other areas as well, yes. Oh, I just come because I love it, yeah, the good spirit. I like that they, lots of people get in the truck and drive around to raise money. We come every year, we come at this spot every single year. While for some the sound was a little much, others couldn't get enough. I kind of like the noise. <laughs> The Illawarra community, as always, dug deep, emptying their wallets for a good cause. Keep donating for the convoy, Illawarra! Crossing the convoy finish line, the vehicles parked up at Shell Harbour Airport. In a convoy first, the Yates team led both the bikes and trucks. <laughs> The 2019 I-98 FM Illawarra Convoy will be remembered as the year Kai's convoy dream became a reality. Ten-year-old Kai Yates tragically died earlier this year. He always wanted to leave convoy and his family made it happen. Oh, it was emotional, uh, but it was fantastic. You know, the community came out to support and made us feel a lot better and, yeah, it was great. Team Tandalu wasn't far behind. This year they drove in memory of their oldest and youngest team members, Alan Doherty and Kalani Epps, who both sadly passed away this year. Very overwhelmed, very heartbroken to be coming down that mountain and just feeling like a piece, a big piece of our heart and our soul isn't there with us today. About 15,000 people streamed through the gates to show their support, entertained first by the Veronicas. Before the Hoodoo Gurus took the stage. This year, Convoy celebrates its 15th anniversary. During that time, more than $13.5 million has been raised. And while the final numbers for this year's event are still to be tallied, it's showing no sign of slowing down. You know, we helped the children's ward of the hospital, we helped palliative care, and there's so many more projects that are coming up over the next 12 months that we're able to with the funds that we raise and hopefully we can still keep continuing in another 15 years. Samara Gardner, Win News. A family with a newborn baby has lost everything after a Shoalhaven Heads home was gutted by fire this morning. Neighbours raised the alarm after seeing thick black smoke and ran to hose down the property before the crews arrived. This was the terrifying scene that confronted a mother and her three-week-old baby this morning.